It was the week before DEF CON, and all through the internet, not a hacker was stirring, not even a mouse. I'm Allie Diamond, and this is ThreatWire. Over the past week, we've seen a women's confidential discussion app be revealed to not be as confidential as it promised. The app, T, was trending at the top of Apple's free app charts, boasting millions of users when it was hit with a data breach. The data breach in question exposed over 72,000 images, including 13,000 images of selfies of users and many being photos of IDs of the users registered. A few days later, another server was discovered containing the contents of over 1 million private user messages. The issue was due to poorly configured servers that were accessible via unauthorized calls. Apologies for getting spicy here, but just in the same way that women's health has been downplayed by men in history, many men have spoken up denying that this is a real hack. But if we were to substitute out women's information with something like credit card numbers or social security numbers, it is in fact a hack by the way of data breach. And there would probably be a bigger legal ramification in those cases. While this is a women's privacy app, those ramifications don't apply, but I am curious to hear from you. Do you think this is a legit hack slash data breach, or do you think this is something trivial? Let me know in the comments. You already know my opinion. Google has taken a stand in the fight against software supply chain attacks. They've introduced a new tool, OSS Rebuild, to help bolster confidence in open source projects. With an increase in software supply chain attacks over the years, they've identified a need for a more deterministic way to evaluate open source packages, specifically focusing on NPM for JavaScript, Crate.io for Rust, and PyPy for Python. Our aim with OSS Rebuild is to empower the security community to deeply understand and control their supply chains by making package consumption as transparent as using a source repository. Our rebuild platform unlocks this transparency by using a declarative build process, build instrumentation, and network monitoring capabilities, which within the SLSA build framework produces fine grained, durable, trustworthy security metadata. The tool is expected to help detect build environment compromises, potentially introduce backdoors, unsubmitted user code, or code that isn't present in the public repo, and more. The tool is expected to help detect build environment compromises, potentially introduce backdoors, unsubmitted user code, or code that isn't present in the public repo, and more. The tool is available now on GitHub for those interested in keeping their software supply chain monitoring up to date. P.S. As a reminder, if you use open source code in your work, definitely consider paying slash financially supporting the open source maintainers. DEF CON is in a week, and who's excited? I'm gonna be both at Black Hat and DEF CON. During both, you'll be able to find me wandering around the conference as well as at the Hack5 booth during DEF CON. I will have some ThreatWire stickers to give out, so be sure to stop me if you see me or stop by the Hack5 booth to get some. I promise I'm nice, even if I'm walking towards something really fast. As a reminder, this is the 20th year of Hack5, so do not miss out on coming by the booth. Big things are happening, and I can't share more than that. With DEF CON coming up, there will be no ThreatWire August 4th and August 11th, so I'll be back with ThreatWire on August 18th. If you want to keep up with me, I'll be proactively posting on my Instagram stories, as well as making short form video leading up to the event, and most likely a vlog of DEF CON. So be sure to follow me on Instagram at endingwithally, which is linked down below. I cannot wait to see you all there. If you enjoyed the show, please head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. If you want to find me online, I'm at ending with Ali on everything, including Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.